Today we're going to talk about perimeter and area. Perimeter measures the distance around the outside of a shape. Area measures the space inside the shape. Area is given in square units. How many squares can fit inside the shape? And perimeter is just given in units. What is the length around the outside? Example, Rancher Joe wants to create a new fenced field for his cows to graze. The length of fence he will need represents the distance around the field. And the distance around the field is referred to as perimeter distance around the outside. The amount of grass for the cows to graze represents the field's hmm, perimeter or area. All the grass that is inside of our field is the space inside that is referred to as area. And that is in square units. Square units? What are those? Oh, well we actually have here is a square unit, another square unit, another square unit. And that's how area is measured. Find the perimeter and area of the red shape. For perimeter, I will count up how many units make the border of this shape, the outside of this shape. I have three here, four here, and this shape is a rectangle. So we actually know that if this is four, this will also be four. Opposite sides have the same length for a rectangle. My perimeter would be the distance around, which is three plus four plus three plus four. Three plus four plus three plus four. That would be seven plus seven is 14. Perimeter is in units. So I will say 14 units. What is the area of this shape? The area is how many square units fit inside. One, two, three, or 12 square units. What do you notice about the dimensions of the rectangle, the length and the width, and how they relate to our area? Well, the length times the width gives me my area of 12. 3 times 4 is 12. And you may remember that rectangle area is length times width, or sometimes referred to as base times height. Let's find the perimeter and area of the blue shape. So the perimeter is that distance around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. It looks like my perimeter is twenty-two units. And I'm going to write U to stand for units. The area is how many square units are inside, how many squares. Continue to count that. Okay, to check if you counted correctly, I got 10 squares in this upper portion and 12 in the lower portion, which gives me a total of 22 squares or 22 square units or 22 units squared. Let's find the perimeter and area of the green shape. Our perimeter is the distance around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That is 12 units in the distance around. And then how many squares make up the inside of this shape? One, two, three, four, and five. So that would be five square units or five units squared. Ooh, what about this one? Can you find the area of this yellow shape? Well, I can see that this triangle and this triangle would make up a full unit. And I could see that this triangle 
and this triangle would also make up a full square. So if I shifted those triangles to, to create squares, then I would only have an area of one, two, three, four, five, six. Six square units or six units squared. Is that what you've got? Six units squared, four inside of here. This makes up one and this makes up one. Drea wants to put square foot tiles in her pantry. The length of the pantry is four feet and the width is three feet. How many tiles will she need to buy to fill the pantry? Draw a diagram with a grid. So the length is four feet. The width is three feet. And we're supposed to fill in a grid because she is going to put tiles in it. Four, four units of length on the bottom. And then we need to have three rows. So three units of length over here on the side. And she's going to tile, put a tile where each of these squares is. So how many tiles does she need to buy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve tiles. Now some of you are saying, hey, I could just multiply three by four and then I would know that's how many tiles she needs because each tile is a square foot tile. So the length on the outside of each tile is one foot. And that's perfectly fine. You can multiply the length and the width to get the area. All right, Rancher Joe has decided to make the length of the field 50 meters and the width 30 meters. Draw and label a rectangle. You do not need to make it a grid, so we don't need to put the little squares in it. Hey, look. Look at the little cows. Let's build, let's build our fence around the little cows. And the dimensions are 50 meters by 30 meters. Find the field's perimeter. Well, here if the base is 50, then I also know, of course, that this is a length of 50 because this is a rectangle. And if this is a length of 30, then I also know that opposite, that length, is a length of 30. So the perimeter would be the distance around the outside. 50 plus 30 plus 50 plus 30. 80 plus 80 is 160. What are the units that we are using? Meters. So what is the perimeter? 160 meters. Remember perimeter is in units, not square units. How many meters of fencing must Joe buy? Well, if you recall, the length of fence is the perimeter. The amount of grass is the area, the space inside. So how much fencing does Joe need to buy? 160 meters worth of fencing because that is the perimeter. And now we need to find the field's area. Ooh, the field's area is the length times the width. I have a length of 50 meters times a width of 30 meters. All I need to do is multiply 50 times 30. This would give me ooh, 1,500 or 1,500. You could also see that 5 times 3 is 15. And then because it's 50 times 30, there will be two zeros on the end of that number. So 50 times 30 is 1,500 or 1,500. And we're looking for the field's area. So the field does have specific units. Those units are meters. And for area, we need to use meters squared, square meters. Area is always square units. How many square meters of grass are enclosed by the fence? Square meters of grass, that would be the inside. That would be the area. Wait, we already found the area. 1,500 
square meters or meters squared. Find the perimeter in the area of this rectangle. I already know that if this length is 4, then this length will be 4 because this is a rectangle and the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. If this length is 8, this length will be 8. And the units in this problem are inches. So for the perimeter, our distance around, I will add up all the lengths of the sides. 8 plus 4 plus 8 plus 4. 8 plus 4 is 12, so I'll be adding 12 plus 12. That's 24. The units are inches. And perimeter is in units. Now the area would be the length times the width. 4 times 8. You don't need to multiply 4 and 8 again. 4 times 8. 32. The units for area are square units and the units for this problem are inches. So our answer for the area is 32 inches squared. Notice that you only had to multiply the length and the width. You did not have to multiply the length and the width more than once. It's just the length times the width for the area of a rectangle. Find the perimeter and area of the square. Ooh, what do you know about a square? All the side lengths of a square are the same. So if one side length is 8 feet, this will be 8 feet, this will be 8 feet, and this will be 8 feet. All right, so our perimeter would just add up 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8. Or you could have noticed that there were 4 eighths and multiplied 8 by 4. 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 is 32, and that is feet. If you have a square and you're looking for its area, you take the side length they gave you and you square it. <gasps> Wait, that's where this word comes from, squaring, meaning times it by itself. 8 squared is 8 times 8. That is 64 feet squared because area is in square units. Find the perimeter and area of the rectangle. If this is 3y cubed, then this is also 3y cubed. And if this is 5y squared, this is also 5y squared because the opposite sides of a rectangle are the same in length. The perimeter requires me to add up the sides. 5y squared plus 3y cubed plus 5y squared plus 3y cubed. Ooh, this one's a little trickier. I'm not just adding up numbers this time. This will require me to combine like terms. I have a 5y squared and a positive 5y squared, both positive, a positive 3y cubed and a positive 3y cubed. So those are also like terms. 5y squared plus 5y squared is 10y squared. When you combine like terms, the power does not change. 3y cubed plus 3y cubed is 6y cubed. When you combine like terms, the power does not change. Now that we've added in variables, we're going to not worry about units for these problems. We're just going to focus on making sure we combine like terms when appropriate and use properties of exponents when appropriate. The area requires us to multiply the length times the width. 3y cubed times 5y squared. This should give me the area. This is a product which requires properties of exponents. I will expand and simplify. 3 times y is being multiplied by itself 3 times. So y times y times y. This is also multiplied by 5 times y times y. 
the y is the only thing that is being squared here because the square is inside this parentheses and it's not on the outside. Now I'm going to put the numbers in the front and the y's together. So this would be 3 times 5 times y times y times y times y. And that simplifies to be 3 times 5 is 15 times y to the power of 5 because y is multiplied by itself 5 times. This is the area of this rectangle. Find the perimeter and area of the square. If I know one side length, just one side length of a square, I know all the side lengths because a square has all the same side lengths. So the perimeter requires me to add up the side lengths. The perimeter is the distance on the outside of the shape. 3x plus 3x plus 3x plus 3x. This requires us to combine like terms. And in this case, all of our terms are like terms because they share the same variable and the same power. So we will add the numbers in the front. This results in 12x as my perimeter, as the distance around this square. For the area of a square, I take this side length and square it. Keep in mind here that since the 2 is on the outside, the product of 3x must be multiplied by itself twice. Not just x, not just 3, but 3x must be written twice. 3x times itself. 3x. 3x times 3x is 9. x times x squared. All right. There is our area. Find the perimeter and area of this rectangle. Ooh, tricky. At least they gave us all of the side lengths. So for perimeter, I just need to add those up. x plus 5 plus x plus x plus 5 plus x. Let's combine like terms. x plus x plus x plus x. That would be 1x plus 1x plus 1x plus 1x, which results in 4x. And the 5s, positive 5 plus 5, we can combine to be positive 10. 4x plus 10 we cannot combine because one has an x and one doesn't, so this is our perimeter. Remember that area is length times width, x times x plus 5. This is a little tricky because you have to multiply this x by the x plus 5, not just by the x, not just by the 5, by the x plus 5. How do you multiply this one term, x, by this group, x plus 5? I'll write x times x plus 5. And this one requires distributive property. x times x is x squared. x times positive 5, watch out for the sign in front of that number is positive 5x. This is the area of this rectangle, multiplying your length times your width, or multiplying your base times your height. Find the perimeter and the area of this rectangle. So if the base of this rectangle is 5x, then this right up here, this base is also 5x, the opposite side. And if this is 5x minus 4, then this is also 5x minus 4 in length. So perimeter would require me to add up the distances around the outside, which include 5x plus 5x minus 4 plus 5x plus 5x minus 4. 
Let's combine like terms. Positive 5x, positive 5x, positive 5x, positive 5x. 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 20x. And I also have a negative 4 minus 4. A negative 4 and a negative 4 would be negative 8. So my perimeter is 20x minus 8. The area requires me to multiply the base, or the length, times the height, or the width. Now, 5x minus 4 is the entire width. It must be grouped because 5x must be multiplied by the 5x and by the negative 4. Be sure to put groups in parentheses to remember that you will need to distribute. 5x times 5x minus 4. Distributive property, 5x times 5x is 25x squared. And 5x times negative 4 is negative 20x. Here is the area.